When Time Traveling Doctors Clash by Laidback Brit. The DeLorean was traveling through many eons into the far off future. It was racing through time at its usual speed of 88 miles per hour. Everything visible through the windows were merely blurs to the usual people it was carrying. A certain eccentric professor was sat in the driving seat with his hands gripped to the steering wheel, while a particular youth was at his side. Hey, Doc, where are we going this time? Marty asked inquisitively. Back to the future? I don't care, Marty, Doc answered, turning to face the boy in the passenger seat. Wherever we end up, I'm sure the community of the time will welcome a genius like me. <laughs> well, that's a bit conceited, isn't it? Doc! Marty blinked over how his mentor had inverted his gaze away from the windshield while driving his car at high speed. <laughs> Shouldn't you, you know, keep your eyes on the, uh, the, the world of the time travel? Oh, don't worry, Marty. We ain't got a chance of driving to anyone else out here. I'm the only doctor in the history of the universe. Completely capable of time travel. Ah, Doc, look out! On hearing Marty scream a warning, Doc swung his head back towards the windshield. And his eyes widened when he saw where it was headed straight in the path. Great Scott! The yell, he slammed his foot on the brakes, but not quickly enough. <laughs> the DeLorean plowed into what happened to be an old fashioned British police telephone box. It smashed into the front end of it, shattering its doors and walls while bits of broken wood hit the vehicle, shattering the windshield and denting the bodywork. Inside the wrecked vehicle, Doc and Marty's faces emerged from the inflated airbags they had fallen into. On the instant of seeing what happened to his beloved time-traveling car, rage boiled up inside the staggered professor. From inside the wrecked police telephone box, a figure marched out of the broken door. He appeared equally just as furious as he marched over to the door to the driving seat of the DeLorean. What have you done to my TARDIS? Wait, that's terrible. What have you done to my TARDIS? He bellowed at Doc in an angry English accent. I don't know what you're talking about. Doc glared, unfazed by the confrontation of this fellow. But this is no place to put a phone booth. You should have been watching where you were going. In all my years of time travel, my TARDIS... I have never encountered a reckless driver like yourself. Don't be ridiculous, Doc scoffed. I'm the only one who has ever existed that can travel through time. And there's no way you can do it with a crummy old thing like that. Trying to rise above the behavior of the one who was boasting about what he was capable of doing himself, the stranger dove a hand into his pocket, <laughs> closing it into a fist. Uh, this is going to get violent. Well, I'm afraid you're all responsible for this accident. We are involved in my fund. I'm gonna have to take your insurance details, if you please. And besides, I don't please, Doc snapped. Besides, you must be more insane than you thought if you're expecting me to have insurance on this baby that you destroyed. You don't have insurance. <laughs> you don't have <laughs> You don't have insurance, Doc? Marty exclaimed. Of course not, Marty! Doc turned to glare at the youngster, questioning him about what he thought was ridiculous. The DeLorean is a time machine, not a regular car. The stranger felt his anger increase over what he had just heard from the person who had destroyed his beloved tortoise. His hand flew out of his pocket before knocking Doc out with a sonic screwdriver he had clenched in his hand. Doc! Modi cried, horrified by the sight of his mentor losing consciousness, thanks to the one who had. Doc, are you alright? Doc didn't reply. He just sat motionless in the driving seat with his face lying against the inflated airbag. With his face filled with shock, Morty turned to gaze in bewilderment at the stranger who was walking away from the DeLorean to examine the phone box it had blown into and destroyed. Who are you? The stranger turned to face the young boy, seeing him as no annoyance in comparison to the mad scientist he had knocked out. He smiled at him. I'm the doctor. Huh? And Marty stared. He was flabbergasted. But the time the stranger had just introduced himself. 
Was he really a time traveling doctor? Just like Doc? Doctor Who? He asked. Still smiling at the boy, the doctor remained silent, not answering his question. Then he turned and proceeded to examine his broken tortoise, leaving Morty in the trashy DeLorean with the insane yet unconscious Doc. Well, that was <laughs> that was a strange little uh little crossover. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you go check out Laidback Brits' content, and I'll see you in the next Cinnamon Cinnamon episode. Bye!